Welcome guys to the third tutorial of second section. In this tutorial, we will try to get the GUI of Raspberry Pi over the Windows PC. Since in the previous video, we have already enabled the SSH connection. Now it's time to bring the GUI of Raspberry Pi over the Windows PC. So for that, all we need to do is to just enable the configuration. For enabling the configuration, simply type in here sudo raspbyconfig. And here you can see guys, we have got multiple options to play with. But we are interested in going to the advanced options. And then I will go to the resolution. And I will set the resolution to 1920 and 1080p. And hit enter over it. And after that I need to go into the interfacing options. Hit enter on it. And then I need to go into the VNC. And we will use the arrow key to navigate over yes and hit enter on it and as you can see VNC server is enabled so hit enter again over the OK and now you need to use the tab key to navigate to the finish now this pop-up is asking would you like to reboot the system or not so I will simply use the tab key to navigate to yes and hit enter on yes now as you can see guys, we have got a warning that server unexpectedly closed on the network connection. This is just because we have turned off our Raspberry Pi. It will restart in a few moments. Now meanwhile you need to download an application and that is VNC Viewer. I have provided the link in the resources file. You can click on that link and download the VNC Viewer for your Windows PC. Now right after that click on Windows and simply search here VNC Viewer and hit enter over the VNC Viewer. Now what I will do is I will click on file and click on new connection and you know that our Raspberry Pi IP address is 192.168.0.107 and if you are not sure if the IP address has been changed or something else then you can go onto your router configuration page and check the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. So I will simply type in here VNC server IP address and the IP address is 192.168.0.107 and I will give the name as Raspberry Pi 3. Now you can see the encryption. Encryption standard should be let VNC server choose and click on OK. You can see the Raspberry Pi here. Now double click on it. We have just got a pop up here that VNC server has not been recognized. Simply click on continue. And now you need to enter the username and username is pi and password is R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y. Simply click on remember password since this is your trusted system and trusted Raspberry Pi. So you can click on remember password and again you can simply double click on it and open it without entering the password. So simply click on OK. And here you can see guys we have just got the Raspberry Pi right in front of you. I need to make it full screen and here it is. It is looking like the complete desktop onto your Windows PC. So now you can access the Raspberry Pi GUI over the Windows PC and that is happening just because the Raspberry Pi and Windows PC both are connected to the same Wi-Fi. So I guess this is everything. In this video I have talked about how you can bring the GUI of Raspberry Pi over your laptop and what kind of things the Raspberry Pi consists of. So in the next video we will talk about more things. Stay tuned and see you in the next video.